Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make fried broccoli with garlic and soy sauce. This is a side dish that I make very often because it's very easy, it takes very little time, and it requires very little ingredients. And you can make this with different kind of vegetable. You can make this with zucchini or paprika or like asparagus or leaf vegetable like spinach, bok choy, cabbage. You can also make this with like potatoes or what else like beans. Pretty much any vegetable will match this recipe. And of course, this is strictly vegan, so if you're vegetarian or vegan, then this is perfect for you. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for fried broccoli with garlic. But as I mentioned, this recipe will work for any vegetable, and they're always, always delicious. So I have today broccoli, a couple cloves of garlic, depending on how much you like garlic, or depending on who you're meeting with on that day or the next day, you might want to save garlic, or you can of course boost it with more garlic. And then I'm using sesame oil for frying, but you can of course use a regular frying oil or olive oil. And then I just have regular salt and soy sauce. That's it, very simple. Then I'm gonna first prepare the garlic. What I like to do is I'm just gonna take the end off like this, and the other one, like so. Some people may have trouble peeling this off. What I like to do is I'm just gonna smash it like this. And then this is just gonna peel from itself, very easy. Like that. Oh, if you have a bad part, then just wanna take that out. And then I'm just gonna chop this up in small pieces. finish for garlic. Let's cut up the broccoli. I think a lot of people throw away the stem, but stem is also very delicious and you should eat it as well. I'm just gonna take the stem part off, but the thing with the stem is that it's pretty fibery on the outside, like this part, like that layer. That's very fibery, so you want to take that part off. What I do is just kind of cut it up like this and take out the stem. Just take that fibery outside and inside is like a kohlrabi. It's also very sweet and it's very tasty. And I'm just gonna kind of cut into small pieces like this. And then the top part, I'm just gonna break it apart. So I think it's gonna be a bit too much if I make all of it, so I'm gonna use just that part. And then I'm just gonna kind of make into small bite pieces. So I don't like to cut it all the way through because you kind of lose a lot of this top part. I like to cut it like this and then break into like this so that you don't lose any small bits. Like so. This I might want to make it three pieces like this. And then I don't lose any small bits and pieces. So that's finished for cutting the ingredients. Let's cook. So in a normal pan, I'm gonna put in the cut up broccoli. Then here I'm gonna put in about a hundred milliliter of water. And then we're gonna turn the heat to high. I'm gonna put the lid on and we're gonna steam this broccoli as pre-cooking. Or if you're lazy, like me sometimes, you can of course use the microwave to skip this part. So the water is starting to boil. I'm gonna give it a little mix so that it gets heated evenly. And then I'm gonna let it steam for about a half a minute to a minute or so. You don't need to cook all the way through because it's gonna be cooked later as well. So I think it's good enough. I'm gonna turn the heat off and then I'm gonna drain the water. So what I usually do is I'm going to use this lid and then let the water drain like this. Of course you can use a strainer, but I'm a lazy person so I use that. And then I'm going to put that on the side. I'm going to quickly wash this. Then I'm going to turn the heat to high again. And I'm going to put in here a little bit of sesame oil. About a half a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to here put in the garlic. I'm gonna fry the garlic just so slightly so that it gets a little roasted flavor to it. So you don't wanna over fry this just a little bit like that, it's enough. And then here I'm gonna put in the rest of the broccoli. And then turn the heat to medium. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, like fourth of a teaspoon or so. And then here I'm gonna put like about a half teaspoon of salt. Oil. 
So once you put in the soy sauce, somehow the broccoli is gonna produce some water like this. I don't know why. Probably due to osmosis from the salt of the soy sauce. So you wanna fry a little bit more until the water is gone. So at this point, you can also turn the heat to high. So this is finished. Put it on a plate. So, this is finished, let's eat. Okay, let's eat. Itadakimasu! Oh, I love the smell of garlic. So good. Itadakimasu! Mmm! 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 Oh, this is really good. So I cooked the broccoli a little bit too much. As you see, it's kind of breaking apart. For broccoli, you want to really, really lightly cook it. I've seen a lot of Western people who cook broccoli way, way too much. So for broccoli, cooking one minute is just enough. Mmm. Still, this is good. Mmm. I love this little sweetness, very subtle sweetness inside the broccoli. Mmm. I don't understand why a lot of kids in Western culture hate broccoli. I never hear any Japanese kids hating broccoli. It's so delicious. Maybe it's just cooked wrong. And the stem of the broccoli is also very delicious. Mmm, it's crunchiness, it's perfect. Mmm. This also matches rice perfectly. So this recipe is not really traditional Japanese because garlic is kind of new in our culture. I think it's only like 200, 300 years ago that it was imported from China. Before that we didn't have garlic. So it's kind of new. And so in this recipe I learned from a Taiwanese restaurant in Japan. It's very simple but it works. Mm. 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 Mmm, that was delicious. Gotsuzomaishita! Oh, that was delicious. As you saw, this is very simple, very easy to make. This recipe works for any other vegetable. I hope you try it yourself at home. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, and I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye!